welcome to Cat Calls. I am Cat Bion, and this is my show that I do every Thursday here on my channel. And it's not just my show, it's your show because it's interactive and it's live and you're part of it. And if you're here in the chat, you have to give me the questions because I'm just trying to like have a fun conversation. Y'all wanna hear some stuff about our guests, you have to let me know. Anyway, thank you, Zach Schlein. The new theme song does slap. That is a CFA's original, the cherry flavored antacids. You better look them up on SoundCloud because they're the coolest new band in town. <laughs> and in, I, I, I'm in that band, so. That's why I said that. Anyways, today's guest, I'm so excited to welcome more Kismet. Yay! <laughs> now, as a music journalist, I do a lot of writing for publications, including Billboard, Spin Magazine, Discogs, Roland. <laughs> Check me out on socials and read all my stories. But so many people ask me, Kat, how can I get featured on Billboard? Or like, how does someone's music get picked up and published on such a large outlet? And the uncomfortable truth is like, when your music is really good and your story is really compelling, um, journalists will find you. Like they will come for you. And that could not be more beautifully exemplified than my knowledge of more kismet. More Kismet was just a name that I kept hearing. Thank you so much for the subscription. Oh my God, I am, okay. I was worried I was muted. Thank you for the subscription, crazy lover girl. It means a lot. But More Kismet, it was just this name that I kept hearing and it was like, all right already, I'll listen to More Kismet, my gosh. Some of the most interesting textural beats. Now, if you've ever watched the show or you know me at all, you know that I love a textured beat. Something that feels like I can feel it on my skin or like I can like chew on it, like it's in my teeth. I don't know. And that's exactly the sort of music that more kismet makes. But it's also so deep and evocative, emotional. You can tell that there's a real story here. And I think what's even more mind blowing is that more kismet, correct me if I'm wrong, is like 16 years old which is crazy that you could make such soulful music at such an age. And I'm not, you know, saying that it's like never been done, but it's absolutely compelling. And Mork is made is working on a debut album coming out later this year. Their first single is Rumor. I'm going to play that for you in just a second. But I was so excited that they agreed to come on Cat Calls because this is exactly the sort of artist that I'm excited to chat with. Someone who I'm just like, hold on, I gotta hear this story. This is crazy. So I've blabbered on long enough. Let's play Rumor and then when I come back, we'll have more Kismet on the show and I will do much less talking because they will do a lot more talking. <laughs> professional and I am like good at doing this but I feel like I just keep it's mercury retrograde baby there's like one two more days where we're gonna just like muck it up but hey more kismet you made it so that's all that matters <laughs> so we were just telling each other all sorts of corny jokes uh before yes. you guys could see us but um Crazy Lover Girl wanted to know what UKF is, and as I was trying to type a response, I was like, I don't even think I can properly explain this. So, more kismet. Yeah. Why don't you let everybody know what UKF really is, what it's about? Yeah, so um, UKF is not only a YouTube channel uh, meant to promote all different kinds of electronic music, ranging from dubstep, drum and bass, uh, house music, the break stuff, you know, stuff of that nature. But it's also a music publication covering that stuff and more than likely the uploads that UKF does for some of these. Because um, typically some things that can, one thing that can happen is, you know, labels and teams can reach out to UKF uh, for the opportunity at a, uh, a premiere. Uh, so yeah, um, in that case, this is what happened with this, uh, UKF premiered rumor and um i was i was very very grateful for that because they've been they've been supportive of me ever since my like biggest break which was like you know escape uh back in like 2019 2018 you know um they've they've been very very supportive of me um for the longest time and i'm just truly grateful that they're you know 
supporting me on these new endeavors, journeying into a new era of the more kismet sound and I know. everything. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just very happy about that. I'm so excited. Shout out Right Lawyer 94 for the sub. Gotta love that. Ooh, Big up, Right Lawyer 94. <laughs> love to see it. Love to yes. see it. Um, there's so much about everything you said that I can't wait to dig into. But before that, I want to ask you a very important question. And I want to know how Zoom mm -hmm. school is going. Oh, <laughs> horrible. Absolutely horrible. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> It's it's literally the absolute worst. I'm so sorry. And I'm so sorry that you're on another like, Zoom call. <laughs> and you're answering questions. I, There's a pop quiz when this is over. Like, you're basically in Zoom school right now. <laughs> I miss Frizzle. Yeah, but at least it's Zoom school for shit that I actually like, not... <laughs> like, not... I don't, I don't want to learn about, like, freaking algebra, integrated math. Like, the, yeah. my only decent classes are... French, Apex, and I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in French pa too Parle now. Français, um, uh, je pratique le français aussi, aussi. Me français mal, mais, uh, you know, you ever want a French <laughs> pen pal, you just let me know. <laughs> yes, I will, because <laughs> I, I definitely need the help. We're like, we're right now we're studying, um, you know, um, Paris Metro maps Ooh. and le metro it's, it's like <laughs> it's literally the most confusing shit i've ever done in my entire life have you been um, to paris huh have you been to paris ever oh no 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 i don't have my passport yet Ooh, you need to get on it you're gonna get on that trust I i'm know, sure you will play a club to, in paris I have a, I have a european agent now that can get me shows in europe <laughs> So, okay. like, I really need to get on that Hold soon. the phone. Let's just write in the baby book that Mork Kismet got a European agent before they got a passport. So your mother must be very proud. That's right. incredible. Oh, 100%. <laughs> same, same goes for, like, my North American agent, like, covering all the bad stuff as well because they represent me on other forms outside of music so you know oh, yes yes well I'm on that but yeah i i have to commend you on just even making it to zoom school because when i imagine <laughs> when i was in college and i started my blog and i started writing for the school paper I just started to have this feeling of like, I'm doing it. Like, why do I have to be in class? I'm already a journalist. And like, I can't imagine what it's like yeah. for you to try to focus on school and already be like having this burgeoning music career happen at the same time. Yeah. Like, how do yeah, you not just daydream all the class away? <laughs> I mean, I do, but like, you know, <laughs> I, I just do my level best to keep up with the work as best as I can. And yeah. sometimes I fall through, but I try to pick myself up as best as I can, yeah. even when, you know, things get a bit rough. Yeah. What was it like when you were touring? Um, you know, but, but when I was touring, like typically, you know, I was already on top of my classes. I was already, you know, on top of that stuff. I was doing cool. I had like A's, B's in my classes and stuff. So like, you know, yeah, I was honor honor a straight roll. student up until the stupid pen. <laughs> yep, literally, I was on the honor roll yeah. Love every it. single year, <laughs> starting did you with get third like, grade. Did you get free so pizza parties and grade. stuff for that? I I did on the on the rare occasion that my school was actually gonna do stuff like that. I did get like those rewards. I Love did it. get like the little school supplies, pizza Takes parties, me back. everything. Takes I me was back. that was that was those were very very great in incentives for elementary school students. Um, <laughs> yeah, now your incentives are a little students. different. <laughs> yeah, um, but you know, like with with the pandemic kind of changing everything. Yeah, you know my perspective on school has kind of diminished itself. Well, what, so it's become a lot harder for me to, you know, stay focused on some things and, you know, stay on top of things sometimes, especially seeing as how, you know, now with me being signed with a major and everything, I have like more, you know, pressing deadlines and things yeah. of that nature, more stuff I have to do to like kind of, I guess, keep myself relevant, which is kind of weird to think about, but yeah. I mean, you know, I just, you know, I mean, I don't really care about this stuff. I just like sharing my music with people. Yeah. So, you know, if, if that means I have to do a little bit of extra work, then I will I will do that extra bit of work if that means more people can 
hear the stuff that I bust my ass to make. So, yes. you know, yeah. Well, more power to you. I, I mean, all the respect in the world for being able to juggle those two things. And it's definitely worth staying in school, kids. Get your degree yeah. and then get the fuck out of there and never look right. back. Get out, <laughs> get, get that degree and go. Yeah, bye on the way out. Do any of your classmates like fuck with your music? Do you, are, do you have like fans in school or is it are they totally just like, what, are you, what is that? Are you making music well, again? S- <laughs> some people are like that, but I actually do have a select group of friends who do know that I do music and art and animation and everything. And we're all very, very close. In fact, we all, we were literally just talking the other day about how like seeing each other again would help significantly repair our mental health. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's serious. Like, cause be- before COVID hit every Friday, we would used to hang out at my friend Haley's place and just like draw together, do storyboard sequences together, write scripts and stuff for our pilot. Like, you know, like stuff like that, you know, it's just, it really brought us closer together as individual creatives and also as best friends. Um, Cause you know, outside of school, outside of lunch and everything, we barely get to see each other. And you know, Instagram group chats don't really, you know, do it that much. Yeah. Um, But you know, that's what we've had to resort to since we don't know how long we'll be able to see each other again. Um, but I'm praying that that moment will be soon because I honestly and truly do miss all of my friends me a lot. Me too. I know um, everyone in I the think chat. That would help push me across the finish line. Everyone in the chat too. Uh, Myriad of Miriam is wondering how social interaction will change as a result of isolation. I hope. Mm. My roommates told me that the Roaring Twenties. Uh, was perhaps a response to the 1918 flu and everyone being stuck inside. So I'm hoping we'll get another like roaring 20s. Roaring like, 20s. <laughs> every, all the parties I, are just super lit. Like. Maybe. That would be interesting. Yeah. That would be very, very interesting. I want to hear more about this very cool group of friends that you have. I <laughs> yeah. hear that story and I relate and it takes me back to when I was your age and like it. it it, you f- you have such an ample imagination at that age. Like you're, you're ready to get your fingers dirty. And, and now, I mean, when I was yeah. a kid, I used to do things like record fake radio shows on like a cassette player and things like that. Me! Yeah? Me! <laughs> Me in a nutshell. Like, I kid you not. On my old computer, which my grandma now uses for her own stuff, but on my old computer, I literally used to film like whole random pilot episodes with my shitty, (laughs) shitty webcam. I love it. Took it off and ran with it. What was the? These ended up being like seven minute long episodes, mind you. I love it. How the hell do I have enough interesting shit to do in my house? for seven minutes worth of content. But you did it. Ex- explain that to me. But did any of that stuff end up on things like YouTube or Instagram? Like, did it no. end up on the internet? See, Never. that's what I was like. If Never. I were a kid, I feel like there'd be Never. bad stuff on the internet. I'd be like, no one needs to see that. Just move along. Let's Absolutely just keep moving. Absolutely not. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> what, were, what were some of these like old, like dig up a pilot for us. What was your first uh, make-believe oh. TV show? <laughs> so my first make-believe TV show. Um, oh God, this is so stupid. I've like literally never talked about this before. Uh, <laughs> it, it was called Cabin Fever, Great. and basically, it, it's it's not a it's not even remotely close to what you might think it is. Um, it's not a horror film. Uh, no. so, <laughs> it is. It is not a horror film. No, it's a science. Is fiction it twenty twenty? No, I'm just kidding. Ooh, I love science fiction. <laughs> it's, a, it's a science fiction concept. So basically, this seven-year-old child um, living in this house in the Bay Area gets abducted. The whole house, mind you. The whole house gets abducted by aliens. I'm in. <laughs> the whole house gets abducted by aliens, and the entire episode is the, curse, the, the, the seven-year-old child going through the portal of like the alien hub or whatever, traveling through time and space and stuff. And so literally the the cliffhanger in the pilot episode is me looking out the window, seeing this alien world, seeing the space was like, what's going on? (gasps) Fates of black, 
makeshift credits where half of them are like my family members. And then so I, was just like, I love it. And the second episode is like, oh, this alien planet is actually just a mall food court. And like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Food court. I can't. That's amazing, uh, yeah. though. That's so cool. How did you? How did you create a portal? Were you like climbing through the I laundry? I got stock footage oh. off of Pond Five oh, and Shutterstock. Nice, nice. But you're still. Yeah, I didn't know how to do VFX back then, so like you, you stick me in front of Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, and you tell me make cool shit. You're not gonna get anything. <laughs> Well, I can relate because I just upgraded from iMovie, so I'm right there ah, with you. Nice. I'm just learning I how to I have not use. left Windows Live Movie Maker. <laughs> I still use Windows Live Movie Maker to edit things together. I kid you not. I mean, And it has gotten me this far. Exactly. I mean, but that's so true. I think that a lot of people are like, oh, to really make something cool, I have to have like this expensive camera or this expensive piece of equipment. And like, exactly. I was thankfully able to update my computer this last year once I started doing streams but I only did it like a couple months ago and previous yeah. to that I got like a $30 ring light I, I we're just making mm -hmm. it work you know and like exactly you gotta get started so props to you uh for, you. for making it this far um hollow says windows movie maker is a timeless program to be honest so yes it is yeah shout out um, shout out yeah. windows Ma movie maker what about Musically, um, you yes. clearly have been at this for a while. I mean, no one just wakes up and makes a track like Rumor. And as we saw in the Goldies video, you already had Rumor like a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been sitting for a hot minute. Um, but yeah, I I first started writing Rumor when I was you know when I was fourteen and. Um, you know, I guess like kind of like every negative experience in my life as I was starting to find my identity as, you know, a non-binary person, you know, it just, it kind of taken, it, it, it took me aback and, you know, that's what prompted me to write the words, how could I have been so stupid? Because, yeah. you know, it every now and then I have regrets about coming out and, you know, being open and stuff of like stuff of that nature so um you know it's just it's just really hard for me to kind of um you know push through that absolutely um and so my way of kind of coping with those doubts um was to write something about it and what came of that was rumor and i had done a lot of stuff like sound design wise that i had never done in any of my songs for like ages and dispensations but you know it, it it worked for that because because my production had evolved at that time you know i was able to you know take those horrible techniques and flip <laughs> them in a way that would only work for that song so like yeah distorting the ever living crap out of the 808 making these crazy like feature based chords that go like woo, 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 like going up and down and stuff you know like that's just you know I think for me, it's just, you know, I've always like tried my best to, you know, be as creative and as forward with my music as possible. So that way, you know, you listen to any of my songs and you know, it's me and you yeah. know that this is, this is something that I am capable of creating and that I am capable of expressing. Yeah. Uh, properly at that so yeah well I love to hear you say that you were very daring with your techniques you kind of took these like bad techniques and turned them into something beautiful because I feel like that also yeah. resonates with the message of this the inspiration for the song right like you took these terrible moments yeah. in your life and you kind of like said fuck it I, they're gonna make something really beautiful for me and then for you to perform that song on stage in front of a track and busy p and alice in wonderland and yeah me too and all these like yeah, amazing kittens. people that i yeah. oh that i am like so inspired by too like yeah. what a beautiful Literally, way to twist that around the night after like the night of the goldies when i played that even though i lost like kittens unique and um allison all became enthralled with everything i was doing yo shout and out unique real quick too because i fucking love unique that, so sorry <laughs> unique is unique, 
it's okay. Unique is absolutely amazing. I am so stoked to finish our collab together with whipped cream. I am so looking forward to it. Wow, that's a yeah. fun one. It I don't know coming. if I knew about that. Ooh. Oh yeah, no, no one, no, no one really knows about that yet. But I mean, you know, like I've we've been working on it for a little bit, and I'm very, very excited to see how that comes out. Incredible. The production that Caroline did is like absolutely insane, oh. and you know. I'm just, I'm just really looking forward to seeing how that final thing comes out. Yeah. We snapped. We snapped. So yeah. Um, Hallow is yeah. loving that you just dropped that bomb on all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, yeah, I, I, I've like not, I've not really told anybody about that. I've been working on like, you know, other like really sick collabs with people yeah. that I really look up to. So that's amazing. Just to, be able to, just to be able to have that experience alone, it's truly something incredible. So I'm yes. really, really thankful to be in that position to where I can work with these people whose names I've seen in my Apple Music and SoundCloud recommended libraries for ages and dispensations. And now I finally get to sit down and work on a track that will end up in somebody else's recommended <laughs> library or playlist sometime in the future whenever it may be finished or coming out um, i know so, yeah I'm just, I'm just i'm just very grateful for that so yeah. i'm gonna say this wrong and i apologize ahead of time susala mac wants to know if we can hear that track but i'm not prepared to do that and it sounds like it's not finished <laughs> yet but it is not um do you have any idea have when version. are you like working Probably on it currently or you're just like well, we definitely are working on it currently. Um, like the last time I remember like touching back on it was when Caroline and I were both in Atlanta for WW Fest. Um, so like that's when, that's the last time I heard a version of it with you know Unique's verse and my verse oh, and everything. Versus, uh, I'm loving yes. this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wait 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 wait! I accidentally unplugged it. <laughs> That's okay. We can still hear you, so it's fine. That's very okay. exciting. I loved the little hot bar shit you dropped like at the start of the, was that the beginning of this year? The little yes, sassy ass video that you made. <laughs> yeah, that was so good. <laughs> yeah, wildflower. I I wildflower essentially was like, okay, how can I sum up just how fucking much I hated 2020? in one song <laughs> in under a minute so I can upload it on all platforms yeah. without having to do IGTV. So like, you know, love. Um, and that's, that's how Wildflower came about. Um, and I was hoping that by including lyrics about, you know, members of Smosh that they would eventually notice me. So that <laughs> way I, because here's the thing, over quarantine, Smosh became my hyperfixation. Okay. Um, Wait, I don't know about Smosh. Tell me interview. about Smosh. You don't know that's Put me okay. on. Yeah, now, now Correct I'm my like life. A, a, like a crazy obsessed <laughs> fair girl. Oh my God. Okay. So Smosh is essentially a, a, a comedy, a, a sketch channel consisting of comedy sketches, you know, uh, improv challenges and things of that nature. Uh, the members of it are he, uh, Ian Hecox, Courtney Miller, Shane Top, Damian Haas, Jacqueline Yue, uh, Keith League Jr., and some of the crew members that actually work as a part of Smosh's like production crew. Hear that, they Smosh? They join every now and then. Real but fan. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I know like way too much about them now. And I even sampled Damien at the beginning of one of the songs on my album. That's awesome. We tried, but here's the thing though. We tried reaching out to him at the top of the year when I finalized the song to no response unfortunately. Aww. And so hey. we've, we've been like working really hard to try and get it out to them. So I was like, I, I feel like at this point, what I'm going to end up doing is like seeing if they have a P.O. box and making a CD. <laughs> Send a cassette and or whatever. I'm like running, I'm running out of options here because this is supposed to come out very soon. Okay, well, we're, we're going to you know, see what we, we can do. We do have an option. Yeah. Maybe we should all Fingers just start crossed. tweeting every day like, smosh. I feel like. That's what I might end up doing. I might just end up making like one of those like weird little TikTok introduction videos where it's like, hi, stop, stop what you're doing. Watch this video in full. Yeah. Here's what's going on. I need your help. I need like, your help. But I don't, and like, here's the thing. I don't want to be annoying because I'm like, you know, right. when people will tag you and shit a bunch of times, you know, it gets annoying. Right. And especially for him, he is like significantly more popular than me. So like. <laughs> You know, as far as like, you know, numbers and, you know, yeah. the amount of attention he garners from a general audience goes, mm -hmm. um, 
but, yeah, but know, it's good, but it's anything destiny. Is possible, it's, and it's worth a try. That's yeah, true. Like it that has to true. happen. Okay. I feel it coming. I'm, <laughs> fingers crossed yeah. it happens. Cause that would just, that would just be amazing. If he, if at the least he heard it, even if he didn't want the sample in the song, yeah. I would be content with that because I heard it directly from yeah. him. You but would if he did, love a voicemail that's it. like, Hey, uh, please, uh, don't tag me anymore. Um, please take my voice out of your song. Uh, thanks. Somebody, and, and you'd be like, I got to call. To find some way to... <laughs> Yeah. Why would, why would that honestly be me? Like, I would be scared to death that somebody even got my phone number in the first place. But, you know, at least at least I heard a response. Exactly. Right? Yeah. We all we all love a callback. Um, I just want you to get this compliment. Susla Mac says that uh, you're literally their inspiration at this moment. So oh, big thank ups. you so much. I really appreciate that. I, you know, when writing my music, I hope that it can invoke happiness or feeling or some kind of emotion in them that inspires them to take what they feel and go on and make their own beautiful pieces with it. And when I hear people say, oh my God, your music changed my life or oh my God, you inspire me so much. Like the the amount of joy that feels like, I, I can't stop smiling right now. Like my cheeks hurt like <laughs> hell. But, you know, it just it just really makes me happy that, you know, this shit that I write in this little corner in my bedroom inspires yeah. hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. Um, Is, it, it just truly makes me happy that I have that kind of, you know, that I'm able to have that influence on, you know, people's creativity and people's lives. Um, and I hope that everything that I create, especially this upcoming album, inspires them to, you know, make their own waves and, you know, push themselves to be better creators. So yes. that just makes me very happy. I'm so excited to talk about the album. Wait, is this the little corner in your it's, room that you make the music in though? Is it, is this yes, makeshift this studio the with the, the Unikitty? Is this, show everyone your yep. Unikitty. Yay! Oh wait, can this you bring is, it over? Is, can you bring it over? There it is. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Wait, 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 wait. I need it, I need it. Yeah, there we go. Little, little, oh. little unicorn kitty. <laughs> yeah. Love it, love it. I love the, uh, the full uh, unicorn commitment. I have a cousin who was really into unicorns, at least as a kid, and he oh. told me um, something I didn't know, which is that unicorns pee lemonade and poop gumdrops. I don't know if you knew that about unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. That's a fun fact, everyone. Fun fact. Um, so this is your recording studio. You're in the studio right now. This is Pretty where much, the magic yeah, happens. This is my little space uh, over here. We oh, if I can turn it around. Ooh, this is my computer right here. Nice. Oh, hey, it's me. Like Look, Zoom hi session. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, this is this is my little studio space. I have my cur uh, my curtain over here love wedged it. in between my closet door. I and love my bed. it. Yo, you get good um, acoustics so, in the closet. Yeah. That's what I've heard. I don't. Know. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> Yeah, um, but yeah, I just like, like when I record vocals, I record them with my, I have a pro mic now because my dad got me one for my birthday, but I don't know how to set it up. Uh, so I'm gonna wait to do that with my mom when we both have the time. But for Love now, it. I, you know, I write and record stuff on my iPhone, my new right. iPhone in a garage band because it allows you to record high quality uncompressed wave files. And, you know, I email that stuff to myself and then I denoise and, you know, do my little vocal production tidbits and the like and amazing that's how i get my vocals on my songs once again you don't need anything fancy you literally have a computer in your hand at all times get exactly. to work <laughs> exactly it, it works so well for me your mother is also a musician singer songwriter is that true yes she is an amazing one at that she's oh. also an author so. Awesome! Shout out Mama Kismet! I love this! Yes. What what kind of... So, so you were kind of like raised in this musical creative environment. What kind of music does she yeah. make and what kind of music was she playing in the house? And, and is she who we have to thank for the, oh, the yes. musical mind that she is, is you? She is the whole reason... She is the whole reason why I'm even doing music. Like, honestly. Did she like, like give... She, did she like sit you down and be like, make a thing? Or how did it happen? Well, no, at the age of five, I asked her for a laptop. 
but like for for Christmas, I at the age of five, I asked her for a laptop for Christmas. She got it for me. Wow! And then that's when I found out about you know music making programs like Mixcraft and you know uh, Garage Band and stuff like that. Oh, incredible! So like I've been doing it for the longest time before that, but you know I never really wanted to. I never really took it seriously. How can you take like, anything seriously when you're six? By the way, no shade. Like I think that was okay. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah, but like you know now I'm like. 10, 10 years later, after the fact, you know, like now this is something that has become such a huge part of my life. And, yeah. You know, I have my mom to thank for that, for pushing me so hard. And, you know, growing up, growing up in this household, you know, like, like as, as you asked, the type of music that she used to play was like, you know, indie folk, R&B, soul, Ooh. gospel, you know, stuff of that nature, stuff that was very soulful, very emotional and raw that you can really convey emotion in. I love and that. that's where, you know, a lot of my music comes from, especially a lot of my newer stuff. Yeah. A lot of my newer stuff combines like elements of, you know, pop, um, R&B, indie folk, you know, stuff of that nature, stuff that I grew up listening to at night, um, you know, that has always just sat with me for the longest time. Yeah. That's now, you know, becoming such a major influence in my music, yeah. um, especially in terms of collaborative efforts. Like I'm collaborating with people who make completely different Love genres that. than me Love and that. still making incredible stuff with them so you know it's just it's just it's just such a wonderful and gratifying feeling you know kind of exploring different avenues and, absolutely you know, venturing into the that space yeah well i i love to hear the direction that your music is taking and i think that the more that you are honest about who you are and where you come yeah. from musically and where your family comes from musically like and the more you share that with people the more it's just gonna resonate with listeners right because yeah. they're gonna hear the the honesty from you in it i think and yeah. and i certainly feel that way with rumor but th as you said you've been working on that track for that two years ago you wrote that song pretty much yeah what about the rest of the album are, are, is it newer work the from there on the out album. Uh, well, actually, um, so the first half of the album was started back in to late 2018, uh, mid 2019 after character came out. Um, but, uh, you know, the like the like more recent finalizations, as well as new tracks being added, all of those were started during quarantine 2020 nice. and being finished like early, like late last year, early this year. So, yeah. Wow, that's cool. So, so when everyone at the beginning of quarantine was like, "Yeah, but all the musicians are going to be making music, and we're going to get some dope albums in 2021," you're who they were talking about. Much, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, because awesome. the, the album was actually supposed to come out last year, uh, but it wasn't done to me yet. I didn't yeah. like how any of it sounded. I had to. I, I've literally scrapped whole cool versions of this yeah. album with different songs on it and everything yeah. that I just wasn't comfortable with putting out. Um, and you know, that of course entailed me writing new tracks, but I never have a problem writing music. So, you know, um, well, sometimes I do, but Flex. you know, for the no. most part for <laughs> stuff like this, right, <laughs> nah. um, but you know, like for the most part, like I don't have an issue like taking songs off if they don't fit the vibe to me. If, if they don't fit a specific end goal that i'm looking for with the theme of a body of work i'm not going to put it out i love that that's just how it is stick to that i love that and and it's yeah. so hard for a lot of people to kind of put an editing eye or ear to things so you're already like halfway ahead of the game right if you're like not too precious yeah. with everything that you do um and i love i love a, a conceptual piece of work so like yeah. i love to hear that you've got like a vibe that you're going for and a story. oh yeah the theme behind the album oh my god i cannot fucking wait to talk about <laughs> the theme behind the album i kid you not this is it's something that i've been holding on to for like literally so long it's yeah. absolutely ridiculous um but like yeah i've like had the name since i was 10. what I've is the name? the name have you like, announced the name I have not, and I will not be doing that until June. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's we're, incredible. We're not going to do that. I, but yeah, no, like this has become such like a very huge part of my heart, and I'm very much so ready to, you know, 
give the fuck away to millions of people. Yeah, so, I know. Once it's out there, it belongs to the people, right? 100%. Uh, and I am so ready for that, for people to be able to take these songs and, you know, find some form of attachment to it themselves and find some way to relate to the themes and to the vibes and to the, you know, the ethereal standings of the ambience of the drums of the arrangement everything everything that <laughs> myself and my friends put into this body of work all of these collaborations and these solo efforts that myself and my friends have worked on together you know i just i'm just i'm just very excited to you know show this thing to absolutely people. i'm gonna be it's gonna be the best day of my life <laughs> For the first one, and then I'm there so will excited. be great days after that. That's true. That <laughs> no, is but true, this is there huge. There will be more albums to come. Exactly. But yeah. the, I'm glad that you had the forethought to be so uh, particular because I always think a debut album, this is a quote I've heard years and years. You have your whole life to write your first album. You have two years to write your second. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> but like your first album is such a statement about who you are as an artist. And so I can understand exactly. that it's really important to you that you get that statement right, the way you want it to exactly. be, right? But oh my God, yeah. you literally 100%. are still so young and like you already have a debut album coming out, which is amazing. So big ups to you. Yeah. I releasing my debut album at freaking 16 and a half years old is definitely the, something. I love like, that you know. said 16 and a half because it's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait. Just, it's, it's like not at all something that I ever like planned, but I'm just very excited. Wait, what, what? Half and a half. Half is June. Are you a Scorpio? When's your birthday? I am a Sagittarius. My birthday Sag is December 4th. <gasps> your birthday's December 4th? Yes. Get the hell out of town. One of my best friend's birthday is December 4th. And also Jay-Z's birthday. Also Jay-Z's birthday. Have you heard that song, yeah. December 4th? Of course you have. You have to have. OK. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's very exciting. Of course. Very exciting. Yeah. OK, I had to go a little, little astrology that's there. Okay. You, you seem like a lovely Sagittarius. Yeah, I get it. Travel Thank in the you. world, gregarious, just like sociable. There it is. <laughs> SGK Chisholm, Sigic Chisholm. I'm bad at the name. Ah, yes. yes. Chisholm, yeah. Chisholm. Uh, what direction do you, they're asking this, by the way. What direction yeah. do you see your sound going within the next 10 years? Which literally for Ooh, you is like yeah, asking the second half of question. your life. That's insane. But like, you've had 10 years yeah. so far. <laughs> I definitely think, you know, I definitely want to be more, you know, obvious about the experimentation of my music but also the sound that the direction i see my sound going is you know you know i wanted i wanted to stay the same but also branch out into different fields so like you know i don't i don't know how to like you know play instruments i just you know play everything by ear as yeah. far as you know transposing things and writing midi arrangements and stuff like i don't play the piano but i can like put out chords on a on a thing i don't know music theory like but you know if something sounds right. good, then something sounds good. And I can like, you know, fine tune harmonics as I see fit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, I guess where I really see my sound going is, you know, just like having a perfect balance between being experimental and also, you know, having that right in between that, you know, can help you get on the radio, can become a massive hit, can you know, make its way into homes and make its way into households to more people who would be interested in hearing these stories and hearing these vibes and yeah. these songs. So, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, like that's kind of where I see that going. Meeting, having stuff that is accessible, but not at the sacrifice of like the art itself, right? Yeah. If that makes sense, yeah. Do you Did you hear yourself on the radio? You said when we were talking before the show started that have you heard yourself on the radio yet? Has that happened for you? I once, but it wasn't on like a radio station here. It was on like BBC, like BBC Radio One for like uh, like Diplo's. Uh, oh not Diplo's yeah. Revolution. Um, it was well, it was on the Diplo's Revolution channel, but it wasn't like you know Diplo and Friends. I would love to do a Diplo and Friends. Mix yeah. Someday, or maybe a, a mix for Any Nightingale that would just be fucking amazing but like the mix that i'm talking about is like the uh, bangours for with benzie mix that i did for my birthday last year 
Um, That's so awesome, and, though. You know, oh yeah, it was it was it was absolutely a blast. But you know, just like hearing all of my unreleased music and stuff on freaking BBC Radio Huge. and Sirius XM is just like the absolute most insane thing ever. I mean, you're definitely on your way. This is just the beginning. I'm sure so many of these dreams and more can still come true. <laughs> Definitely. You're, you're not racing the clock. Um, man, there's something that you had just mentioned that I was like, oh, I want to follow up on that. But it fell out of my brain, and that happens sometimes. So instead, I want to ask you to tell me about all these visual projects that you're working on. You're you're expanding yeah. your artistry, although it sounds like you've been a video, uh, you've been a director since you were like, uh, creating sci-fi <laughs> pilots <laughs> with your fam. So how has Pretty that evolved? Much, yeah. Um, it's honestly been incredible kind of like venturing into different things. Like even, even before I even laid my hands on a music program, I've always loved cartoons and animation and screenwriting. And, you know, it's something fun for me. It's something that is a very fun, creative outlet for me. Um, and as far as like, visual projects go you know like um i am hopefully the next album i do will be like more like a visual album Ooh, like I a movie that. maybe i would love to do that to kind of you know like i want to i want to make a a feel-good movie with strong important and wonderful messages behind it um to kind of counterbalance the absolute mess that is music by sia <laughs> oh um, I've, i haven't seen but i've heard that it's like you do not, not watch it. It, is, it, is, it is incredibly ableist. That's so it is, sad. It is so horrible. It is ableist, racist, and just no like absolutely, it makes no sense. It's horrible. Like, I guess you're not like, dude, Maddie Ziegler, freaking Sia's protege, yeah, yeah, yeah. who's really been in every single one of her music videos, she did not want to do this movie. Wow. But Sia See, forced her to do it. That That's what I was going to say is like, how do you get to a point where no one has like, taken you aside and said like hey <laughs> i think this might be a problem but it sounds like maybe people did and then she just didn't really listen so yikes i don't know she did it she did like she like it, it seemed like she vehemently refused to take into account any actual you know experiences from actually autistic people Ugh. because as far as we know maddie zeigler is neuro <laughs> maddie zeigler is neurotypical yeah. Like there were like at least she kept saying that she had multiple neuroatypical people in the movie oh, and no. advising her, but she literally her advisory council for the movie was freaking Autism Speaks, which is literally such a horrible organization. Uh, uh well, so you, like, you, how can you, uh, you you can you can uh pick that up and do a better job with something down the line. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> like I want to I I want to I want to make sure that, you know, if I ever do like a visual album, which I really hope I can do for album 2, um cuz I do have ideas for that. Um you know, I I just really want to make sure that not a single thing is out of place and yeah. nothing nothing feels wrong to me and nothing feels wrong to anyone else because I want people to sit, look at these projects and enjoy it. I want them to laugh. I want them to cry. I want them to feel happy. You know, if, if, if I can't do that with something like this, you know, then there's no point in me even, you know, putting my time, putting my heart, putting my soul into something like that, yeah. you know? If, if, I, if I'm not making myself happy and if I'm not making other people happy in the process, that's like the whole reason why I still even do music. If I'm not making myself and others happy, then I'm not doing my fucking job correctly. Yeah, and also it could, I'm sure it's not nearly as fun. Like why do you want to just slog your way through music or art? That's definitely not the point. Exactly. <laughs> are there, it's absolutely ridiculous. Are there people who have done projects like the music things he did but you think did it right that like oh, maybe yes. people should watch instead that you want yes. to shout out 100 percent lemonade by beyonce oh yeah and incredible by melanie martinez wait what was the second Period. one k through 12 by melanie martinez and it's free too on it both films are absolutely incredible yeah. and lemonade, lemonade is more on the visual album right. side it has it has like monologues from b yeah but, you know um k through 12 is like an actual movie 
Amazing. Like an it. actual movie. And Melanie written, wrote and directed it herself. It's well. incredible. So like, it's the, it's the best thing ever. So like, that's what I want to do. I want to be a writer. I want to be a director. I want to write movies. I want to write TV shows and stuff. Yeah. But I also want to write these things that revolve around my music and have a hands-on experience in them other than just being the pretty face up in every single scene. Yeah, so, yeah. I but, love yeah. that. I, I, I have, I have my no own plans doubt. for that, so yeah. No doubt that you won't get to that in time. And hopefully the first album is very successful and you make millions of zillions yes. of dollars so you can put all that money back into creating the ma the massive opus, the visual audio yes. experience. So my, <laughs> my big opus under my own production company, which is still being yes. formulated, so yeah. Oh, so exciting. Um, Beyond that, like, are there other big dreams that you have, big, like, goals for one day? I mean, that is a very large goal, yeah. so I don't mean to be like, and then what? <laughs> I know, you seem that's, like that's okay, you, that's okay. You I dream big, you. so, yeah. Yeah, um, I would love to be a Marvel superhero. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that, I, would just, that would just be amazing. Like, I've always been a theater kid. I love acting. I am an act her yeah so you know that would just be very cool i can see your I name am very being comfortable a superhero doing... name yeah name i i cool. would be more than comfortable doing fight choreography and you know like not entirely exuberant stunts that would incredibly hurt me <laughs> to the point of no return but i mean you know like i'm down to, i'm down to do my own fight choreo like i'm hell yeah participate in fight scenes like stuff like that i would love to do fight scenes that would just be fucking amazing let's um, do one now but Ready? you know <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. yeah, yeah. I, I already would have lost but yeah no um in addition to that i would also love to you know um i would love to like guest her on tv shows i would love to you know I would love to get nominated for, I would love to get nominated for and possibly win a Grammy award um, for anything I ever create musically. Um, you can be an EGOT. You're into I all of it. Love to be an, <laughs> I would love to be an EGOT, but I mean, you know, getting into plays is actually like a lot harder than oh, yeah. like getting into like films. So like, you know, that the Tony may be a little bit impossible, but you know, the Emmy, <laughs> The What's, Oscar and the Grammy, that would, that, none of those seem impossible. What? I mean, yo, if you can get three, you gotta go for the four. That's like, true. <laughs> and if you've that's, already that's won true. three, like, please, someone will be like, you can be in our play. <laughs> you right. have earned your spot if you have a, the other three. That's I true. But that's like, I can't, true. like, when I sing, I can't project my voice like Broadway singers can. So like 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 when I sing, I sing in my head voice. Mm. So like if I'm recording something, I'm all like, Ooh, but like you know, <laughs> Ooh, I, I like that like, by the way. But like I can't I can't do that and not sound like a dying donkey. You Amazing. Know? So love it. Uh, but, thank you. Love um, it. But yeah, um, I'd also like love to like tour internationally, meet people from different worlds um yeah um another big goal of mine is also to kind of just move into a big fat house with yeah. all of my friends um who run this with me and you know like we all just live together in a holy peace and work on art and other amazing creative things together just as a family so yeah well i'm sure that you will and i will come visit uh because that sounds like a sick yes. household do you guys have a crew name uh, yes, and that's it's actually the name of the production company as well. We're called Valiant Equals. Ooh. Um, yeah, and then the name of the company is Valiant Equals Digital um, LLC forthcoming. Okay, so. amazing. I am just, you have so much, you are just truly a wellspring of inspiration and positivity, <laughs> and I really love and appreciate that about you. I mean, ever since uh, I started following you on Twitter, I'm like, yeah, we stand. We stand. We we love to see the wins, and and I I think that it's really special that um, you know you are so young, and it's never easy being sixteen. Like let me tell you, and uh. and everyone is like trying to figure out who they are, and you on a whole another level, and at the same time you're navigating the music industry, which is a hard shady thing for anyone yeah. to do at any age. So. All the kudos in the world to you for keeping this positivity and this like brightness and 
I sincerely hope that you keep that positivity and that brightness and you stick with the people in your in your valiant equals group and and keep the people around you that know what's good and what's real and will be honest with you Definitely. and like you know I hope that that yeah. is just everything they happens. They motivate me so much and <laughs> it, they just all make me so happy so I definitely yeah. You know, I don't ever want to let them go. They're all amazing. Yeah. Well, GSC 10, GSC, I don't know why everyone has to make crazy names that I can't pronounce, but they said they love the name of the company and everyone's Yay! very excited. Um, yeah. I can't wait to officially announce that we're like actually a production company because it's just a name and just like ideas right now. But like once like we get the LLC, I'm just going to put it on blast like yo i'm starting a fucking production yeah fuck everything it's so 2021 like, you know. is already a big year you get the debut album you know start your production company exactly your production company can help you make some music videos and like you can you don't have to make a exactly. full visual album make make a couple music videos that kind of start to tell oh exactly yeah i already have plans to like hopefully do music videos for this album if you know covid goes away and like everything is able to you know be done in a safe mannerism mm -hmm. yeah um, of course i want to wait it out and make sure that everything is safe and proper enough to do so because i don't want to put anybody's lives at risk absolutely um but you know um when the time is right um i already have you know treatments concepts and everything all situated <laughs> so you know once I finally get to show you guys all of that stuff, like I'm very, I'm gonna be very, very, very happy. So Me too. Yeah. More kismet. Thank you so, so very much for joining me here on my little corner of the internet, which is also just my room, but it do look cute on the Twitch page. Um, it do look cute though. It do look cute. Uh, if, if. <laughs> If there's anything else you want to sh share, shout out, mention, say, leave the people with, mantra it out, um, do make sure that you say that. And and if you want to say anything about the song, you should run, which we're going to listen to after uh, on the yes. way out of here. Um, okay, so yeah, well, first of all, no, 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 that's okay. Um, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me, Kat. You're absolutely amazing, and I truly can't thank you enough for the continued support that you give me yeah, and the More Kids My Project. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. Um, but yeah, um, so if you didn't know about me before, then um, my name is Omar. I am a producer, visual artist, and DJ working under the name More Kismet. If you want to follow me anywhere, you can search me up everywhere on any music platform you listen to uh, on More Kismet. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at More Kismet Base and everywhere else at More Kismet. Um, uh, please help me get 20,000 followers on Instagram. I am very, very, very close. Um, and I just got verified on there too. So I saw that. Congrats. Amazing. It's something we've been working towards for a while. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Oh my I, God. I, I'm like literally so happy about that as well. I um, have to. Yeah. I spelled more kismet wrong in your in your thing because I only did it while I was That's already okay. live. But everyone gets it's not more Kim set Kim set Kim set. That's not it. So it's more kismet. <laughs> yeah. Um, follow yeah, more and kismet. Lastly, yes, please, please follow me. I need the, I need the support, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, and lastly, in regards to you should run. Uh, you should run is a track that I wrote in collaboration with my good friend, Paulina Hare. Um, Paulina and I first met uh, back in 20, I'm gonna say 2019, around the time my EP was coming out. Um, we met at a show that Vincent was doing. I was opening up for him at the Moroccan Lounge and she was gonna be going up on stage with him to perform with him. Wow. And uh, from there we met each other, we were talking and we immediately hit it off and we became best friends ever since. And we eventually got to write a song together, which ended up becoming You Should Run, which came out around Halloween time on Night Mode. And what's really cool about the Night Mode releases is that every single release on Night Mode is DMCA free, meaning you can play it in the back of your Twitch streams, YouTube, whatever, and you can avoid the ever living fuck out of a copyright strike. <laughs> yes. um, so yeah, if you're interested, uh, please go check out Night Mode. Night Mode has incredible releases from people such as, but not limited to, myself, Knock to one true god alert um uh never no uh <laughs> eliminate um just so many incredible people uh who've been a part of their uh roster of releases so far um truly incredible label ran by the gamer jericho 
Um, yeah. It's, it's honestly amazing. And if I got the opportunity to again, I would love to release with them again. Uh, so yeah, be on the lookout for more stuff from them. Be on the lookout for more stuff from me, my album, my visual projects and everything else. And uh, follow the ever living fuck out of Kat because yeah! she put so much work <laughs> into this. Um, it's absolutely insane. And it, I had a blast being here. So thank again, yeah, you. thank you so much. I will enjoy the song and I hope that you guys enjoyed this little fun conversation we had. So. Yeah. I certainly enjoyed it. I, I, I you, hope you did. Um, everyone in the chat, thank you. Uh, I feel like there's still more stuff I could ask you, but it's getting to, it's, we're at, we're over an hour and I got to put this on YouTube someday. So I don't want it to be the longest thing ever, but we'll true. just have to have you on the show again sometime, you know, we'll just have to bring that you back. That is true. <laughs> that is true. I would love to come back if yeah, you want to have me. we'll do it. Okay. Maybe closer to the album we'll, or when the album's Definitely. out, maybe we can come back and chat about yes. the album. We'll that see. Would be so dope. I'll, I'll follow you up about that. I'll hold you to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Say hello to Mama Kismet. We love Mama Kismet. She's I'll the tell cutest. her I said hi. All right, bye.